Hey, Preeti. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. Yeah. First of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity. All right. Very good. Pretty good to have you here. Preeti, uh, so just to introduce your background to everybody, uh, you know, uh, you came with a non-coding maths background and then you did our business learning certification program. And now you're working uh, with successfully transition your career uh, from being a fresher, if I remember. A yes, fresher. fresher. Uh, uh, being a fresher to an analyst position with uh, uh, late interview, one of the uh, you know uh, uh, big data science firms who did interview as well last uh, year. So uh, congratulations for that, uh, Preeti. First, thank you, sir, very much. <laughs> and uh, just wanted to understand your interview experience that you had with late interview and what rounds you had and uh, how did you prepare for it. Uh, so. What kind of interview rounds did you have with late interview? Uh, first round, it was totally based on the technical. What uh, I have understood that we should know SQL is our basic thing. Okay. Like whichever we ground we go, either Python or R or SAS, but we should know the SQL. SQL is the most the basic thing, which is the background of every analyst. Whatever I have seen in my interviews or in as I am working right now. So there also we have seen that like we are writing a codes in Python or in SQL, but mainly people prefer in the SQL because writing a code is only not a problem. Like we have to optimize something which SQL does the most important thing there. Yes. So they have asked me like, uh, firstly they have asked me that like the difference between of where and having clause. Was like, that first interview, first round of interview or what was there? Uh, uh, this is my first round of interview, first. fully based on SQL, it was. Fully based on SQL. Yeah. So they have first asked me some little bit syntax. Then they have told me to share my screen and write some uh, queries. So they have given some sample sample data sets and giving me that and telling me that if this is the scenario, then what can you be doing that? Literally, they are asking me to how to use a group by how to what is the importance of the window functions like lead, lag, rank, uh, dense rank. Then what is the difference between of all that? Uh, these are all the things they have asked me and they have given some small small tables point of thing and they have told me if this is the table one this is table two you have to obtain to the table three so how what is the best way to obtain like uh, we can use uh, exist not exist sometimes in a query but their option was that what will be the best way because mm -hmm. there are so many ways but they wanted the best way to uh, what are the like where we, we are cons consuming less time so okay. these are the questions they have asked. So me what did you do to prepare for SQL? Uh, SQL, I, pre I have prepared the basics thing first. And the most important thing which helped uh, the our internship program, which I has organized, there uh -huh. they have given like uh, on and the research projects, which we have done in ours. So like we have to set our data. So like choose our data. And from there only we have to make a questions like, so from there we can get that, okay, this type of questions we can answer. So that thing mainly helped help me very so much that project. Internship, in Ivy's internship program, I think you were part of it. So there also you have challenges, your business okay. questions to answer. So yeah. you're saying that helped. And then the research project that you do as part of the Ivy's uh, data yeah. program, uh, there also you're supposed to build your own problem statement, build yeah. your own, uh, research your own data sets and present it. So uh, that you're saying that helped. Yeah, that that was a very much helpful. And then we have uh, some internship program like uh, like before then ten challenges question. When I was a part of that, some uh, every student was part of that. That they have given the data set. Then then we have to make a video and uh, make in the LinkedIn. So that part was a very helpful part because there we get to know about the data also. Because sometimes we are writing a query without understanding the data, like what data is telling us. So that is a very important thing. So that research project and the internship was a very much helpful from the IV that I will definitely say that. And uh, all right, so that was your first round fully yes. on, on SQL. Yeah, fully it's based on, on SQL. Yes. So it was like for how long? It was around 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, what about after that? 
after that it was fully based on statistics and they have asked me some python uh, syntax but they wanted to know about that how much i know about the statistics okay. and uh, they have as i'm working for right now in my background is right now in supply chain management so they have given some business case studies to me just there only not to prepare in my home like they have given and they are asking me that what you will be doing in this scenario if uh, arima model fails so what is the best model to choose in yeah. market what are the like what are in the trends we are going to get that so the time series model they have mainly focus on in our interview and the, for the python part and the syntax they have asked uh, what i have observed from my interview or its python or its sql they are generally asking the basic questions that how much we are knowing the syntax and how much we are proposing to them okay like this is the best way we can do that rather than writing a fully query okay. and understanding the business sense like uh, like it's not like i have to say that what they are expecting like everything is a business in our real life also whatever we are doing problem if they have given me like that kind of statement and we have just what i am approaching them like uh, what is the best or not the best like approach is also a good thing which i have understood there so approach is important uh, not particularly their uh, uh, their most of the interviews are not fixated on making sure that you're writing the most accurate code right yes as long right, as you can right. explain the business uh, as long as you can explain the approach you have taken and the business justification behind choosing the right function right um, you know clauses from the next uh, sql or python or any of the yes. concepts, uh, that you mentioned right yes right right, right very good uh, what was the third i mean did you have a third round i uh, know this two are the main round third round is just hr round yes. all right very good very good priti um uh, very nice so priti tell me um uh, i i know that you did our business analytics certification program and if i remember it correctly you did it uh, in the weekend model but uh, without taking any break you know yes uh, you did not take any break at all there was no break in the learning momentum right yes right right okay in your entire learning journey what were what were the what were some of the most important thing that you kept to yourself and maybe some important tips that you think uh, our current data science and business analytics certification program learners should keep in mind while they're preparing uh, or when when they're pursuing this course uh first of all like we are having all the research projects everywhere which i have seen that was the very most important thing in every module the research yeah. project does okay. yeah that is a very important thing we should know that what we are going to do or and if we will see for other people so so we can learn that okay this kind be also a thing we can learn from them other than that i will say not to follow the means uh, you should attend the live class rather than following the recordings very like good. first live class is very important like our interactions because communication is a very important thing if we won't communicate because what i have seen like if i am not able to communicate and i am little bit and i am very good in sql or in coding but they are not going to take me because the communication part is very important they can teach us the uh, query and coding still but they can't teach us that how to communicate with the people so okay. that was the very good part if we are in the live class we should interact with the trainers like we should interact that what is the what is the doubts and everything we should be very clear on that part right. and uh, they should uh, follow up with everything like the projects as i am mentioning every time very because they as an interview i have seen that they the first question they ask that what are the projects you guys have done Okay. at least tell me about the projects the basics thing and what you have learned from that projects and uh, the time management is very much important this four things i have kept myself so this four things was very important for myself how many hours did you dedicate in a week to this program uh actually i have uh, done firstly the sql batch after that i have done two course at a time in the weekdays the r batch and then the weekend i have done in the excel batch so at that time i was fully i have given into this only not uh, anything uh, else okay. that's why that six months right. you came with a non non coding background you know you came yes. with really non coding yes. background a lot of our students have this apprehension that mental block that if i come from a non coding background i can't 
get into data science and analytics kind of a program what what, what are your opinion on it uh i think it's right like earlier i was also thinking that how i will be handling this uh, python or sql like it was very fully new but when you have teached and in uh, python i taught by pranjal so i literally like the program very much because okay it's fine only we can learn it it's not like that it's not at all belong that which background i am coming because what we are learning in iv they are not at all assuming that we know everything they are start they are they are starting from beginning only they are not at all like assuming that we know each other so that's the very good thing of iv so that's why i liked it very much and that's the help every student like wherever we go we are that iv is starting from the beginning itself so that is the very good thing and so i think those they should not think about that an on coding people can't do because they can definitely do because coding is a part and at the sense you have to understand the data first then if you know that about the data then definitely you could be able to answer everything so i think definitely it's a good thing very good priti uh, thanks a lot uh, thanks a lot for chatting with me today and thanks a lot for all the important tips if i were to summarize you are saying that focus on research project which yes. we do as part of every module in ivs analytics or data science program you mentioned it couple of times second you said that attend live class don't yes. just rely on recording recording iv gives but you know that's for revision but live class allows you to interact with the faculty learn share your experiences with your peers uh build helps you build confidence by communication by communicating with others and also helps you build communication skills as well uh the third thing you said is again about research projects and case studies yeah. and the fourth thing you said is that you should know how to manage your time uh because if you are not managing your time you will have a lot of breaks in the learning journey which you did not take and that's one of the main success points as well thanks a lot priti and congratulations again for getting into late interview as an analyst position and i wish thank you all so the much best, uh, uh, for the future thank yeah. you thank you so much sir yeah okay